Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Unexpected written by Robert Lind. Come, let's go to the summary. Robert Lind is an Irish writer and if you notice his essays, is, uh, they are of a rare combination of uh, playfulness will be there, humor will be there, at the same time satire and of course there will be self-revelation in that. That is, we will start understanding ourselves better when we read his essays. And this particular essay, The Unexpected, it shows what a keen observer of nature he is. And at the same time, he says that we cannot command nature. We cannot expect also anything from nature or we cannot say nature will be like that because nature will disappoint us when we expect something from it and at the same time nature has the power also to surprise us with the unexpected in the unexpected moment now he begins the essay by telling his desire that he wants to listen to the nightingale and then he goes back to his childhood where he was fascinated by the hens and he says that most of the time he used to spend only in where the hens were there. And he says there was some sort of a fascination at that time. But now he says that um, he is somewhat uh, depressed like he is not interested anymore in the hens. Because he feels that they have lost the power of flight. And uh, their room uh, scent is uh, odious nowadays. And he says that quality of rebelliousness is not there in the hens because they are all domesticized. And he says that they don't have any spirit and they don't like to protest at all. And he says uh, uh, if sometimes he feels that they don't have any soul. And uh, he says that all the animals in the farm are not the legends. And therefore he feels that wild birds are better than captive birds. Because these wild birds cannot be tamed and they are all free and they will not work for any master like these country birds. And he says therefore the wild birds are legends and they have no command over the coming and going. They come when they want and they go when they want and they also sing when they want and they even stop singing when they want and even the nestling is not under anyone's command. And Lynn says only the bird lovers are the slaves of the wild birds and they search for the desired bird for years but the bird will not search for their love birds. And he says that the respect for wild birds is never lost because they are always fascinating us but that fascination is not there for the captive birds because they are lost, they are tamed and they become our slaves and they listen to what we say. We can command over them. At the same time, Lynn says that among all the birds, Nightingale is the supreme bird. And all the famous poets have written about it. And he also mentions the poem uh, Skylark. And he says that an American poet who read Shelley's Skylark wanted to listen to the Skylark singing. And uh, here, uh, even Lynn says that he also wanted to listen to the bird so he went to the country to listen to the singing of the nightingale but after going there he searched for the nightingale he was not able to find a nightingale there but the novelties of nature the different birds which were there really fascinated him and this is something which he never expected from nature in fact he says that i saw the lapwing a bird which i have never seen before Therefore, maybe nightingale is a mysterious bird like the holy grail. All of us know what holy grail is. It is a cross which uh, Jesus Christ uh, was crucified on. And till now it is a mystery because no one knows where it disappeared. And the same way he says nightingale is uh, mysterious like that. Uh, but at the same time he says nature is something which has to be appreciated for its beauty. And uh, here he says that wild birds uh, they sing ability take us to the imaginary world and he also says that animals and birds should not be captivated by human beings because when we captivate them they lose the auditory and they are no more the legendary wild birds which we have read in the um, myths which we have read in the short stories which we have read in the 
childhood stories and which have fascinated us for a long time so his uh, request is don't expect anything from nature because nature will not give you what actually you want but at the same time he says nature has the power to fascinate us by surprising us with unexpected thing and another request is he says don't capture and tame birds and animals so this is a beautiful essay read the original essay to enjoy the beauty of it and if you have anything more to add on to this please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you